why do I always have one side of my hair flipped out? Anyways, hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe just because I don't have a regular upload schedule, so subscribing to my channel will be the best way to figure out when I um, post new videos. So I'll put the link somewhere. Anyways, you'll know where to click the subscribe button. So I am back with another haul video. Lily is going to kill me because I've been trying to cut down my spending, but I just couldn't resist. So um, the Franken Oat sale was extended in Montreal for like an extra week. So I was telling Connie about the Franken Oat sale and what I picked up the first time I went to Lily and I was like, you definitely need to go check it out. Um, and I was going to go with her just as moral support. I was like, I'm not going to buy anything. Uh, I'm just going to go with you and help you decide what to purchase. But obviously that did not happen. I ended up picking up a few items just because during the last two, uh, the last few days of the sale they had extra discounts. Um, if you purchase $125 worth of items, you got an extra 15% off. If you purchase $250, uh, you got an extra 30% off. So obviously Connie and I just bundled everything together and got the extra 30% off. And surprise, surprise, when we got to the cash, uh, there was if there was another promotion that we didn't know about that basically if you bought three sweaters or more all of the sweaters were fifteen dollars each instead of twenty. Oh, then I mentioned there was also price drops for all the tops uh, but yeah so just to give you a reference as to how much we picked up and what we paid for and when I say these are like almost equivalent to Forever 21 prices honestly or even better than Forever 21 things and you're getting really well made items so for two hundred and ninety three dollars and seventy seven cents we got fifteen sweaters two pairs of pants a waistcoat and a t-shirt so I'll start off with what I got first which was this waistcoat um, I actually had my eye on this um, the first time I went to the sale with Lily but they only had mediums and I couldn't find um, any smalls and I wasn't really willing to pay $40. So when I went back with Connie, small was available. I guess the price was still $40, but it was $40 minus 30%, which made it a lot more easy to swallow, in my opinion. And I've been looking for a waistcoat for a while, uh, and this one kind of just hit all the points that I needed. It wasn't like the armholes weren't too big. It was long, but not too long. Uh, but yes, I can't wait till the weather warms up a bit and I can kind of wear this uh, waistcoat. This waistcoat originally retailed for $135. I got it for $40, but if you do the minus of this count, it comes up to about like, what, like $40, like $20 something? No, I'm really wrong with my math there. What is my math? I should know this. It comes up to $28. I was close. I don't know why. I I doubt it myself. When I was there, I don't know why, I just didn't really look at the pants section for some reason, but when I went back with Connie, um, I had a little bit more time and I decided to peruse the pants sections. Um, all the pants were $25 and I found this pair of basically, why am I always saying basically? So I found this pair of Italian wool uh, trousers, like these kind of like uh, tapered trousers, which I've been looking for for a while. Um, and this is like, I love Italian wool, like I bought Italian, like a lot of my dresser, like professional work attire is Italian wool and that stuff washes incredibly well, um, it's very easy to maintain. Um, so yeah, these are $25 with the 30% discount, it was like $17, $17.50, uh, so you can't really go wrong with these. And the funny thing about this pair of pants, I was going to try them on, they actually fell out of my bag. So I didn't realize they fell in my bag, so not only did I step on them, I also managed to kick them uh, across the floor for a bit, so they basically wiped the floor at the sample sale, so really gotta wash that. Then I also picked up this pair of like um, wool trousers, like they're wool culottes, perfect for the weather right now because we are still experiencing winter. Um, I really can't wait for this winter to be over, it just needs to end, but the good thing is it's still sweater weather, which it's perfect because I have bought a shitload of sweaters. But yeah, so these ones um, are culottes, wide leg. They actually have a lining down to the knee. They're very well made. Um, my only tip is for this type of wool, because it's not the same as Italian wool, do not wash these by yourself or at home or attempt to wash these at home. Get them dry clean only because I bought two pairs of pants with this material from Monaco and I ended up shrinking them. So yeah dry clean only. Not that I needed any more sweaters, but the fact that the sweaters were already dropped down to $20 and I got an extra 30%, I said, why not? 
So I found this gray um, chunky knit sweater, which I really don't need an extra another gray sweater, but come on, these are like forever 21 prices. They basically came out to like $10.50 each, and they're real wool, like, it can't get better than that for the pricing. So yes, yeah, so I bought this. This is in a size large, and I can't emphasize enough that you have to try um, the clothing on, just because for Frank and Oat, for some reason, I kind of lean more towards a medium large, sometimes large, just for the sake of the fact that... Um, the sleeves are a little short for me if I do a medium. Either I have ridiculously long arms, I really don't know. But there was a few of the sweaters, Connie and I were trying uh, the same sweaters, and the sleeves were just too short on me. Like, really? I was like, my arms aren't that long. I, I have ridiculously long arms, and she has ridiculously short arms. I really don't know, but yeah, try the stuff on, people. Because another case in point is this burgundy kind of like sweater dress. I actually picked this up for Connie because it's an extra small. And then Connie took a look at it and she's like, this is massive. This is not going to fit me. So I was like, all right, I'll try it on. And it fits. So I, apparently for Frank and Oak, I'm in a between extra small, small, medium, large. So I got this sweater tunic and it's actually merino wool. Come on, merino wool for like $10. It can't get better than that. Um, it's actually long enough to be a sweater dress on its own, or you can actually wear it as like a tunic on like the colder days. And I think it'll look really good. Whoops, sorry. With this waistcoat, just like I can't wait to wear this. If it gets a little bit warmer, um, but yeah, it was practically free. Like I swear to God, people practically almost free. For some reason, I know this idea is not new. Tons of people have probably already been doing this, but I don't know why, I just never really bothered to look at the men's section. Um, I've never really bought from the men's wear. I know Lily does sometimes. I've done it, I think, a few times just for really t-shirts. But this time, I don't know, I had time and I decided to look at the men's um, Frank and Oates section. And I found two sweaters. Oh, honestly, it's a little alarming that we can fit men's sweater because either hipster boys are very small or we're very large. It's, yeah, I don't, yeah, it's weird because Connie and I bought the exact same sweaters in the guy section. I bought the small, she bought the extra small, and they fit us, which is nothing weird, but it's just weird because usually men's stuff is supposed to be kind of oversized, but anyways, this fits us and it looks cute. So I picked up this sweater, and what I love about it is the fact that there is an elbow patch. It's kind of like a gray, a very light gray, uh, sweater like a heather grade I would assume but yeah so this one's kind of cute I already wore that no complaints very cozy then I picked up this gray um sweater which has like a mock neck it's kind of like a it has kind of like a stripe detail going on it's like a black and charcoal gray stripe detail um it has like a slit on the side it has a little bit of a high and low detail super cute I also wore this already uh the only complaint I have about this one is the fact that it kind of creases a lot uh, as you wear it, like you see the wrinkles, like if you had it pushed up to your sleeve and you pull it down, you kind of see the creases on your um, sleeve. So that is it for my haul. Um, if the Franken Oat sale is definitely in, in your city, I would highly recommend checking it out. I think the sale is currently in Toronto right now, so for all those Torontonians, definitely check out the sale. It is completely worth it because this is, so far I'm very impressed with the quality of the Franken Oat stuff. I will probably do a video on updating of what worked and what didn't work. Uh, but yeah, so that's it for this video. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!